you're now thinking about smoked ham. Mmm, good. So tasty. Alright, well, we haven't seen anything else. Um, I'm going to move e uh, Evil and you out, because we are going to want to uh, make a door in the roof soon. Uh, Tyler, you come out and around this way. Uh, Wolfgamer Vlad, you come out as well. Not hearing any earth doors. Oh, hello. Hi, puppies. We have two puppies to play with. All right, Tidal Rabbit. This is where you shine. Mind control successful. Mind control successful. We have two puppies. Oh, yes. All right, we got another uh, guy that we can mind control. Mind control successful. Floater soldier. Let's disarm him. Can't disarm the Reaper terrorists. Alright, that's fine. We don't need to worry about him. He's facing away. He is facing away as well. Alright, now you puppy this way. Oh, look, even more buildings. That's mm, really great. Uh, this Reaper terrorist does not have a fatal wound. He's heavily injured. Okay, Tyler. Let's peek in this area. Or not. Let's get you here. More splody time? Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. But first, we need to do some more mind controlling. Mind control successful. Mind control successful. Beautiful. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Looks like it's time for some more mind control. And floater leader, yes, you can uh, you can sh not use that. That's that would be great. All right, you gonna get shot? No. Well, hello there. We have a smorgasbord of uh, things to mind control. Uh, Tenderfield is done. Elmandretta. Let's mind control you. Mind control you. Let's see. I mind controlled you already. Can't do any more. All right, Sierra Mike. Mind control you. Perfect. Excellent. We are getting so much mind control here. It is fantastic. Where's your gun, Bob? Why are you drooling on yourself? All the aliens are like, oh, hey, Bob, you seen the enemy? He is right there. All right. So, who else do we have for mind control? Brimcon. Mind control successful. 
definitely get rid of that. Okay. Reaper terrorist. Let's, uh... Yes, I know he's still there. Let's see. Floater medic, come on out this way. You can come on out as well, puppy. You're done. Tyler's done. All right, what else do we have? We've got uh, we've got this floater soldier. Okay. I think we're done with the uh, scouting necessary. So you can come over here. And look that way. Thank you. Uh, you... Go in here. Not enough time units. Alright, well, you're probably gonna get eaten. That's okay. Did I mind control you? I did. Ooh, floater commander. What do I think of the new uh, XCOM? Not a fan. It... Eliminated most of the uh, gameplay and elements uh, of this version of XCOM that I prefer. So... I would rather just play this one. Alright, floater engineer. Yes, I know. This reaper... What what must this reaper think? It's like... Suddenly all of my... All of my leaders are... Are showing up as, as enemies on my radar. Oh, I'm just going to have to chew all their faces off. That's just what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the uh, the commander there, I think. Okay, and long mace. Let's bring you over this way. Well, I mean, the one of the things that I love about this game is that you know, if, if you're standing right here, and you know that there is an alien right back here, you can just shoot through the walls, and just just keep shooting. Uh, at the same time, if there is an alien right here and right here, you can shoot the first one, and if you've done an auto shot, then the shots may keep going and hit the guy right behind him. So, it, it's it's a lot of fun, and of course, there's a lot of friendly fire possibilities too, which you know obviously are entertaining and you know I mean it's it, it kind of creates a situation where you're you're dealing with uh, um, dangerous situations and the like and uh, I just think it's uh, a really great system you know plenty of destructible terrain you know terrain situations uh, danger from Allied fire, friendly fire. Um, the aliens can kill themselves. I I, I think that the the new games kind of handhold a little bit too much on a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff. So, all right, Kilkakon, that is ready to go. So let's go ahead and bring you over this way. There we go. And Lel Bunny. That needs to be primed. There we go. We'll throw it next round. <coughs> Alright, Poopinel. Bring you over here. I may not even need to uh, go into the top. 
but I probably will anyway. It's a good thing that we don't have to pay insurance on all these buildings. I mean, after all, uh, what is an act of God but an alien invasion? Alrighty, let's see. Super, you can keep up. You can come down as well. And Asher. And Cinnatar. Zakad. You could always uh, blow a, uh, a hole in the uh, wall up here. Like, uh, right here is actually not such a bad place. There's just one way to go, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you, Router. I don't want to have stable internet anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Alright, well, uh, we could try a mind control with, uh, Crescens. Nope. Not quite skilled enough for that yet. Uh, well, actually, Brimcon still has a little bit left. Hey, mind control successful. Now I don't have to worry about, uh, them chewing each other's faces off. Sierra Mike, you come along that way as well. Evil and you, let's go ahead and, you know what? Just get you outside. There we go. Of course, I can't get him up or down the uh, elevator here, which kind of sucks. You just face that way, then. Alright. Yes, I am very control-happy. Well! There's some grenades going in there! Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, that was pretty wonderful. Uh, I should probably pull out a smoke grenade and smoke in that area. Not enough time units, okay. There goes the money. Yep, there goes some money. But it'll be okay. Uh, doesn't look like we killed the Reapers, though. Unless, of course, we lost their corpses, which is possible. Alright, let's go ahead and take a quick in-battle save. Before we launch our missile. We are pretty high up. No one is in our way. Let's see. All right, that should be good. Load. Alright. Well, looks like we need to come through here. Uh, seal and mortar, that is primed, so that's good. There is that guy. Excellent. Aurelian does not have a smoke grenade. 
Okay, we got those two guys now. Alrighty, uh, let's go with Tidal Rabbit first, because she is by far the best at mind control. Thank you. And thank you. Alright, puppy. It's fine, go up. Alright, that guy is alive and he's blocking the, the way. Got it. All right, well, we've seen all that, then. Oh, hi, puppy. <laughs> he counterattacked him to death. Oh, that was, that was great. Oh, that was wonderful. All right, floater medic. Keep going up. Huh. I I think they killed... I think there was a misthrow or something because... Yeah, this this guy, uh, I think, missed, through, missed his throw. Didn't get it down here. And that's why they're dead. Why he's dead. I think that that's what happened there. Pretty hilarious. Mind control you. Now we do know that there is a guy with a gun that way, so we will keep that in mind. Uh, this floater medic has taken some uh, damage. We've got some guys there. Okay. Let's throw this out there. That's that one, yep. That is that one. That's fine. Okay, put you there. Aurelian. Let's come around that way. Uh, let's see if we can get some mind control on those guys. Uh, Tidal Rabbit is done. Tenterfield. Mind control successful. Mind control successful. Uh, nope. Not successful there. Okay. Yeah, you can drop your gun, thank you. And you can drop your gun and your grenade, thank you. Ah, oh, shot his own leader. Love it. Okay, uh, Tobias. All right. Yep, just the one hole. Good. Okay. And Kilkakon, do you have another uh, grenade? You do not. Well, you do have a uh, high explosive. All right. Little bunny, where are you? There you are. That is all primed. I doubt there's much here, but you can never be sure, can you? You can never be sure. There we go. Uh, Pupinel. Keep going up. 
Head over that way. But all one hole is all it takes. I'm not sure what that's a uh, reference to. Uh, are there new game releases that I'm looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to In the Valley of Gods, uh, but that's not going to be out until like next year. That's from the makers of Firewatch. And it, it takes place in Egypt. So, you know, I mean, obvious reasons there. Make my way over here. I should probably mind control these guys, just get them down to, uh... Where our rookies and stuff can get some kills. Ah, well. It'll be okay. Do -do -do. Let's bring Zakat over. Man, you've really been, uh... Survived well. Alright. Crescens. Do we have anyone in the... Well, okay, you are kind of in the way. You know what? Actually, I should shoot you. There we go. That means it's reserved for kneeling. Don't jinx you. <laughs> oh, but that's the fun thing. It's it's the best. Jinxing the the party members. All right, Crescens. Take that guy out, please. I said, take this guy out, please. It's almost as if you're trying to shoot two-handed, uh, shoot a two-handed weapon with one hand. Man. It's so, so weird. All right. Elmandretta. Well, it's so weird that they have so much trouble shooting uh, two-handed weapons like that. All right, Brimcon, your turn. Give it your best shot. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can we... Get you? Hopefully without getting friendly fire? Not quite. Okay. Alright, Sierra Mike. What is an aimed shot? Uh, we'll take an aimed shot. Yeah, that was that was a really awful aimed shot. Okay, Tidal Rabbit, nothing. Evan Tides, we'll hold off on you. Kill Kakan. Alright, let's get you the kill here. There we go. Take care of you. Good. And we'll go ahead and get the high explosive out. Yes, time units reserved for kneeling in the air. There we go. Evan Tides, you can stay in there. Floater Soldier is panicked. Floater Navigator has gone berserk. Floater Leader is panicked. Floater Commander is panicked. Oh god, they're like our ethereal brethren! And you can't actually throw it. All right. Uh, let's go here then and drop it. There we go. Let 
Okay. Get you over here. Do do do. It's so nice to have a door made for us like that. Alrighty. I'll move on over. Someone is above you, aren't they? Yep, looks like it. Alright. Time limits should change how far you can throw something, not if you can or can't, as long as you have, like, one or something. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I could kind of see it, but at the same time, uh, throwing distance is so heavily based on strength and throwing accuracy. Also, considering that you don't actually know how far you can throw something until you actually try it. Alrighty. Let's see. Long mace. Yeah. Time units reserved. Let's... I need to see, uh... Need to see some uh, enemies to mind control. Alright, Tidal Rabbit. There we go. That is that one. Now, we have not been into either of these pods, so let's go check them out. Perfect! We need to go uh, mind control that guy too, if we can. Because he has a blaster launcher, and we don't want anyone with blaster launchers blowing up our cache and our fuel. Alright, floater engineer, go ahead and drop that. Thank you. Yeah, no, he's there. It's fine, don't worry. Okay. Uh, Tyler. Let's get back to, uh, reserving time units. And Wolf Gamer Vlad, you can come in as well. And Sealand Mordor. Okay, Long Mace. You know what? Let's try getting control of that other guy, because there is still another alien up there. Tenterfield. There's still another armed alien over this way. There he is. Alright, Tenterfield. Take care of this guy. Thank you. There's always one over in this area. Get rid of the grenade. Get rid of the gun. Come this way. Okay, not enough time units. Oh, hi, puppy. Uh, long mace, you can get out of the way there. Thank you. Okay, bring you over here. Okay. Aurelian. Come over this way. Pretty sure we've taken care of everything that's outside, so I'm not too worried about that. Kilkakon! Let's prime this grenade. Chuck it in there. Lil Bunny! We need to get rid of uh, these buildings here. 
Because you never know where enemies might be hiding. Go ahead and prime that. Okay, Crescens. Anyone else that I could easily take advantage of? Well, I guess there's this guy. Uh, let's panic him. Or try to. And fail. Uh, Sierra Mike. Let's pull you up as close as possible. Mind control successful. Okay, there is still an alien with, with a gun up here, so that's our next target. Mind control successful. Fantastic. Mr. Floater Navigator. Dump that crap. Come on down that way. Uh, floater medic. Might as well bring you around, make sure that we've got uh, no one here. Alright, Brimcon. Uh, you actually can't get through these guys, huh? Well. Okay, in that case... So we still haven't been able to check that area out. Let's try mind controlling the uh, puppy's butt. And we fail. Okay. Uh, Tenterfield might be able to do it. Let's try it. There we go. Okay. Look away from it. Uh, Elmandretta. Who else do we have? Let's panic this guy. There we go. So we can use up uh, some of our time units. Eventides, you're fine. Evil and you, you're fine. Alright, there we go. And now we know where their brains are actually located. Well, yeah, that's why it's uh, good to shoot them in the butt, too. <laughs> like a good neighbor, XCOM is there. Ah. Uh. So wonderful to see all of the uh, the berserk and panic and everything like that. All right, John, shoot him in the butt. There we go. All right, long mace. Okay, we need to check this area out. Hmm. All right, I need someone who can do a little bit of mind control. Uh, it's actually not you, but uh, I will try and panic one of these guys. 